So, biomechanics of the food. Uh, what is important when we think about uh, biomechanics of the food? First of all, what is the purpose of our feet from the biomechanical perspective? Uh, the purpose of them is uh, to give uh, a solid contact with ground, something like that. Of course, the feet are the place of contact of our limbs, lower limbs with the ground. Um, so, in case of the even ground, this is a relatively simple situation. However, uh, we were evolved in situations that we needed to run on uh, severely uneven grounds, yes? Uh, so, in order to, for the foot to be able to fit to uneven grounds, we need to have some first elasticity, uh, related, for example, with the arches of the foot, uh, strength, also related to the arches of the foot, because obviously we need to sustain all of the mass uh, of the foot, of the body, on one foot during running, for example, uh, or even more than, uh, than the mass of the body if you are jumping. Uh, but getting uh, back to the idea of uh, good contact, if we do not have even ground, yes, uh, we need some movements of the foot, yes. It needs to adjust. There needs to be some pronation, yes, or supination, um, that will lead uh, to the appropriate change of geometry of foot, that this geometry would fit the ground, yes. However, these movements cannot be too big, yes. Uh, as you can see, those axes, those, these are the axes of the uh, joints in the foot. Uh, those axes are not perpendicular uh, to the uh, movement of the foot, generally. Uh, those axes will lock each other. Why it's important? It's important because thanks to this, uh, thanks to this obliqueness of this axis, uh, those joints has limited mobility. Uh, is it good or bad? Of course, this is some trade-off. Uh, so, as I <coughs> told you a moment ago, on uneven ground we need some mobility. But, first of all, the foot is uh, an organ at least part of the body, that is sustaining all of the body weight. So stability is of the paramount importance, even more generally than uh, mobility, at least in most cases. So in order to get this trade-off, yes, so to limit the excessive mobility, so to gain stability, we have those oblique axes. Okay. I suppose for the rest is quite clear. Thank you very much.